few suppers to share with you. I think five. <laughs> Hopefully by the get to the end you have five. But I didn't always show how I made it, but I will try and remember to include a recipe or a similar recipe in the description box below for you. And it's, my video is a little bit later than normal. My goal is to get it published at five, but like I said, this week is kind of a play catch up. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hoping by next week I'll be in a better rhythm. I'm just kind of struggling to find the new normal for me to do it this way. Uh, anyway, I have actually made more food doing it this way than when I shared every single meal. I, sh I struggle to do that because I don't always have a sit-down meal. And sometimes I'm just having something where I grab and I eat it. And then I forget that I was supposed to share it. So I'm hoping this way I actually have more to share with you. So without further ado, we will start with... I don't remember if it's chicken or... I don't remember which I had first. So we'll just go with whichever one is first and I'll see you at the end. All right, so in the crock pot is a Southwestern chicken recipe I'm going to do in my Instant Pot. It's frozen chicken breasts with garlic powder, onion powder, along with paprika, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. And then I flipped them over, did the same thing. And then I put in a cup of beef broth, because that's what I had. And I'm gonna cook this for, I think it's 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna let it sit for natural release. And that's what we're gonna have tomorrow with salad. Okay, so tonight for supper, I am making spaghetti squash ramen soup. It's this recipe, I don't know if you can see that real well. And it's from this cookbook. My sister actually gave me that cookbook, it was hers. She was cleaning out her cookbooks and she doesn't really do keto anymore. So she gave me that one and I love this cookbook. Now I'm not a huge fan of ramen, my kids love it. But that's because they like the noodles and I can eat them. So this recipe has spaghetti squash in it. So, uh, and I have that, I grew that in the garden. So no, I didn't grow it in the garden or did I? I think I got like two, I didn't get very many. Uh, anyway, so I have that on in my garage. I had some mushrooms in the refrigerator from a while ago. And then I have some green onions because my onions are starting to sprout. Plenty of broth. And then I have, I, for the first time I made deviled eggs. I think that's what you call them, soft boiled eggs. Uh, my duck eggs. And then I happen to have some limes, which I kind of forgot about. I bought them a while ago. I buy them when they're on sale. And then um, whenever I come upon a recipe that I need them, I already have them. I don't necessarily um, go to the store and just buy them because they're terribly expensive. So just get them on sale. And then if I don't use them up, I dehydrate them so then I can have them for later to put in my drinks, especially in the summer because it tastes really good. So I'll flip you on a tree. Okay, so here is my ramen. You can see that's the spaghetti squash, the limes, and then the green onions from my garden, and then my duck eggs. And then that's the broth that I made ages and ages ago. You can kind of see the mushrooms in there a little bit. So I can't wait to taste it. I didn't add salt, but I have salt to add if I need it. So I'll let you know. Okay, I have another supper to show you. I don't buy it that often, but I usually buy it at Christmas time. And I wish that I, <laughs> I wish that I would freeze it and remember that I have it, so I could have it more often. But I don't. I usually buy it and then we eat it. <clears throat> and I usually buy two big cans. So I bought one quite a while ago, probably. I don't even remember. And I finally cut it up, and I made ham salad. So that's what I'm gonna have with um, some gluten-free crackers. And it's absolutely delicious. I love ham salad. So here we go. It is literally just ham and pickles ground up in my food processor with salad dressing. It is so extremely simple and easy and it is so delicious. So for supper tonight, I am making cowboy beans and I'm doing it just a little bit different because I can't have the tomatoes in it. So, and it has a uh, beans with tomatoes. I think it has a special name. The beans with tomatoes, but I can't have it. So I am going to use my cranberry barbecue sauce that I made ages ago. And then um, I am taking black eyed peas and kidney beans, which are the beans that they suggest in the recipe. I'll try and remember to link the recipe below. And then I am adding ground beef. And then I am adding 
I have some bacon that I made that I'm just trying to use everything up. Remember, this is clean out the pantry, so that's what I'm doing. And then I have a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and mustard, salt, no, not salt, uh, garlic and onion powder and paprika. And I added a little bit more paprika since I'm not doing tomatoes. And I may add a little bit of lemon juice. I'll see how it tastes when I get it all together. So uh, let's put the around and show you the beans and then what it looks like all together. So here we go, here's all the beans mixed in with my uh, barbecue sauce and the mustard and all those rest, all those things. And then I'm gonna add the beef to it and then we'll see how it tastes. Right, this is the ground beef with the onions and peppers. Onions and peppers are from my garden. So I have a few left. gonna make it through my onions, but that's okay. I'll get fried when I get there. There we go. Cowboy beans. So this is the cowboy beans. This is my version of it. And it tastes so good and it smells amazing. I will try and remember to include the recipe because you're gonna wanna make this because it's so good. Right, So this is the egg roll in a bowl and I just added some of my green onions from my, um, the onions that I grew from my garden that some of them are sprouting. So I'm going to, I'm eating them as green onions. And then I did a little bit of red pepper flakes for, it's egg roll in a bowl from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook and it's delicious. All right. So kind of a hodgepodge, not exactly what was on my menu exactly, but my goal was to get some things out of my refrigerator and freezer and eat them up. I'm hoping to do a little bit better next week as far as adding more veggies into my menu. I have them. They're here. And it's not that I don't want them. It's just I keep forgetting to cook them up. And then when I sit down to eat, it's like, oh, duh. I still have done my vegetables. But I am getting vegetables in with my meals. Not a lot, but I'm getting some. So that's, that's better. So hopefully next week I will do a little bit better because I'm getting into a new habit, right? So... Anyway, thank you for taking along and for putting up with me not quite getting this week done perfectly, but I will see you again, hopefully, 
Monday with a new menu and grocery haul. I actually don't know if I'm going to have a grocery haul this week. So we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see Monday. So I'll see you later. Bye.